Okay, hey, so last three questions, all right? Let's do this. Um, here, uh, we have one over square root of x minus five, and the question is asking us to do what? It says rewrite one over square root of x minus five in equivalent form with a rational expression in the denominator. So basically, it goes back to that idea in the previous video that you do not want radicals here in the denominator. Okay, we don't want that. And in the other question, for this one here, we had a square root of x plus three and the idea was to multiply by the conjugate. So the conjugate of this would be square root of x plus five and square root of x plus five. And this is what we need to do. We need to multiply the top and the bottom by this. So if you multiply this out, this becomes what? Uh, x minus 25 over, um, because the middle terms cancel. Uh, let's just do it step by step. So square root of x times square root of x is what? That is x. Square root of x times 5, that's a plus 5 square root of x. This is minus 5 square root of x. And this is minus 25. So these two just cancel. And what happens here? Um, so this is just x minus 25 on the denominator. And what do you have here? This is just square root of x plus 5. And then that's it. That, that is it. We accomplished what we wanted to do. We just wanted to uh, put a rational expression in the denominator. Because if I, this is not a rational expression because this is not a polynomial. And if you're thinking, why is this not a polynomial? It has to go back that, remember that, what is not a polynomial? Your, ex, your exponents here have to be whole numbers. They have to be whole numbers. And here, if I say square root of x, what is the exponent of square root of x? It's x to the 1 half. And by definition, you can't do that. And by definition, if it's not a polynomial, it's not a rational expression. And if you're thinking, wow, this is so technical, well, welcome to a technical subject, okay? Um, so that's it, we just rationalized this. Uh, for this question here, what does it say to do for 17? This says solve the radical equation, be sure to check for extraneous solutions. Ah, okay, so let's solve for x. Now, how do we do that? Um, what is game plan here? Uh, if this is one, what do we want to do? We want to multiply, well, this is just equal to, one is equal to square root of x plus three over square root of x plus three, right? And notice that here, remember the denominators are the same, so you can just multiply both sides by square root of x plus three and square root of x plus three, and what happens here? These cancel, these cancel. So three is equal to square root of x plus three. So then here we square both sides. And now you have, that implies that nine is equal to x plus three. So x is equal to six. Um, yeah, that, that should work because if you plug it into the original, what's the original, we'll just do it over here. What's the original? It's three over square root of x plus three equals one. But x is x is six, right? X is six, so we have, uh, that is what? This is three over square root of six plus three is equal to one. Three, three over square root of nine is equal to one. Three over three is equal to one. One is equal to one, okay? Ugh. Mr. G with the math skills. Okay, that was good. And this question here, number 18, uh, what does this say? It says, without solving the radical equation, square root of x plus five plus nine is equal to zero. How could you tell that this has no solution? Okay, this is a really good question. Like x plus five plus nine equals zero. Like this, you can tell that there's no solution because 
this because okay how can I explain this this you have a positive 9 here right if you have a positive 9 here this has to equal this has to equal negative 9 but if I say square root of x plus 5 is equal to negative 9 that is not possible because the square root of any number is not negative. It's not negative unless you command it to be negative on the outside here. So let's say, uh, let's say if you don't believe all that mumbo jumbo, let's say you're like, mister, let's just solve for it. Okay, well, let's see what happens. I guarantee you we're going to get an extraneous solution. It will happen. We're going to get, we're going to get an X. We're going to manipulate something and get an X, but it will be extraneous. I could already tell. So this is minus 9 minus 9. So square root of X plus 5 is equal to minus 9. Square both sides. Square both sides. X plus 5 is equal to 81. And then you say what? X is equal to 76, right? Okay. But let's plug it in. Right? Let's just plug in it in. If you plug it in, the square root of... 76 plus 5 plus 9 equals 0. This is what? This is square root of 81 plus 9 equals 0. Um, 9 plus 9 does not equal 0. 18 does not equal 0. So uh, this is uh, an extraneous solution. Oh god, my camera angle has just been awful. I'm really sorry about that. Okay, extraneous solution. Okay, that was a really nice question. I like that one. All right, so we're done with the packet. Um, good job.